Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to play Micro Robots online. Micro Robots is a great logic puzzle game, but unfortunately there is no online implementation. What I had to do instead was create an implementation for us using the website playingcards.io, which you saw previously when we played Win, Lose, or Banana. Unfortunately this means that the interface is not going to be as pretty as it would be in real life, but we'll manage. Now the first thing you and your group are going to do is you're going to scroll onto this website, down to the links, and you're going to click on the link corresponding to your room number. Let's suppose that we're in room number one. Let me go ahead and click enter, and the first thing I'm going to see is a setup that looks like this. I have two spinners, I have a start piece, I have a go post, and I have what's supplementing our robot. Most importantly, I have four different cards, which all have different colors and numbers on the backs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this deal button. That's going to deal my four cards out into this nice grid. And I'm just about ready to play this game. The final ingredient to get started is to place my starting tile and my goal post where they need to be. And that's randomly chosen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my two spinners and get two different numbers. The first number is going to correspond to the color of the starting tile. The second number is going to correspond to the number of the starting tile. So I got the number one for the first spinner. What color is that? I'm going to scroll back to that web page where we started. I'm going to say one corresponds to red. And you can see here I've got correspondences for the other numbers two. Two is going blue, three is yellow, four is green, five is violet, six is gray. I'm going to go back here and I got one, so it's going to be the red five. That's going to be where I'm going to place my starting tile, the red five. And there should be only one of each color and number combination on the board. So I'll place that starting place right there. And we're in great shape. The next thing I want to do is I want to spin my, my dials again, and I'm going to get a four, four. So the first four is corresponding to the color, the second to the number, and I can go back to that chart. And four corresponds to green. So I'm starting, my goalpost is going to the green four. I'll place that right there. And my goal now is to take my robot and move him from the starting spot to the goal spot using the allowed moves. That's key here. There are only certain kind of moves allowed. I'm only allowed to move horizontally or vertically, never diagonally. And I'm only allowed to move to a new square, which is either the same number or the same color as my old square. So I would be able to move down to this red 2 if I wanted to. Or I could move over to this. Or I could move it to the violet 5. Or I could move it down to the gray 5. And by doing legal moves like these, I need to go from my starting position all the way to my goalpost. And now you're on the clock. You and the other people in your group are all going to be racing to figure out a path from the start to the finish. Once you've found a path, you shout out the number of moves it takes. Here I could shout out the number three, and that means that I've found a path that goes from the starting point to the ending point in just three moves. And if I shouted that out before anybody else, I'm now tasked with showing everybody else at my table that I can go from the starting point to the ending point in those three legal moves. And here they are. I can go from the red 5 down to the red 2, from the red 2 over to the green 2, and from the green 2 to the green 4. So that was done in three moves. That means I win that round. To set up for the next round, I'm just going to go ahead and move the pieces all off the board. And again, I can just use the same board setup and spin for new positions. So this says 5, 2. So I'm going to go over to my chart and 5 is violet. So I'm looking for the violet 2 and there should be only one. And there it is. So this is my starting position. I spin again and I've got a 4, 3. So I go over to my chart. 4 is green. So I'm looking for the green 3. That's my goal. Here we go. I'm starting to get from this position to this position in as few moves as possible. And again, now we're racing against our peers. So the first one that finds a path shouts out the number of moves. And I think I see a path with two moves, so I'm gonna shout two. And then I need to demonstrate with my robot how to go from the starting position
to the ending position in those two moves. One, two. As you can see, sometimes this version of the game is not super challenging. If I want to make it a little bit harder, what I can do is add a pit stop. So I spin my wheels, and I get a 2, 6, and if I go over to my chart, 2 is blue, so this corresponds to the blue 6, and now what my goal is, is to actually go from the starting position to the ending position, but passing through the blue 6. And again, you and your friends are going to race and try to find the path as quickly as possible, but now it has to be a path that passes through the blue 6. And let's see here. I think I see a path with 8, so I'm going to shout 8! And now I need to show everybody that I can get there in 8 moves. So I'm going to use my robot character. I'm going to start at this. I'm going to move up to the 1, which is the same color as my square before. Over to the 1. Then over to the 5, which is the same color. Down to the 6. Now I've passed through the 6, so now I'm good there. Over to the yellow 6. Up to the yellow 3 and then over to the green three. And if I count those, that was exactly eight moves. So I will win this round if I was able to do that the fastest. If somebody beat me, then they won that round. And that's how the game is played. If at some point I'm not happy anymore with the way the cards are set up, of course I can just remove everything from the board. And I can go down here and hit the recall and shuffle button. And now when I deal out again, I'll get those, cor those cards out there, but they'll be in different spots. So they'll have a very different looking board, potentially. And I can hit that as many times as I want. Okay, so that's how you're going to play this game. I hope that everybody has fun, and may the best roboticist win.